Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. Today I've got something a little odd for you guys. This is the Tajizo, I believe that's how it's pronounced, Tajizo Smart LED Backpack. And in fact, there's a shot of it right there. So if you've ever wanted a smart backpack that combines really good audio quality, LED lighting, and the ability to look like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, then this is the one for you. So before we get started guys, let me give you a little bit of backstory here. I have a little bit of a problem, okay? A little tiny bit of an addiction, and that is with bags. I can't tell you how many backpacks I own. I'm always on the search for a better backpack. So when Tajizo, reached out to me and said, hey, would you like to check out our smart backpack? I thought maybe. Um, yes, for me personally, I would love that, but I really only like to feature products on this channel if it's geared towards, in some way, towards the blind and visually impaired community. So then when I saw that it had lighting, LED lighting built in, and part of that LED lighting has a nighttime mode where it will light up in low light situations, I thought, ah, okay, there you go, now we're talking. That could be a really cool safety feature for someone with low vision walking around at night. And then the main draw for this smart backpack is the audio system that it has built in, the audio quality. And I thought, okay, well, we love listening to audiobooks and that sort of thing. So if I could do that without having headphones in, maybe that could be good for safety as well. Walking around, I keep my ears open. So I said, yeah, go ahead and send it to me. And I had seen pictures of this online, but I was not fully prepared for what came in the mail. So here it is. This is the Tajizo PZ5 Smart Backpack. Now you guys see what I was talking about with the Ninja Turtles. So let me first say, before we take a look at this and dive into it a little deeper, let me first say that this is not gonna be for everyone. This is probably mainly gonna be for those who just love tech and love the coolest, newest things, and they kinda wanna flex with their technology. A smart backpack with a hard shell and lighting and music and all of that, that's definitely gonna be a flex of some technology. So keep that in mind. I know that this is not gonna be for everybody. Okay, with that being said, let me tell you a little bit about the PZ5 Smart Backpack. So it has this hard shell and it has this very angular design and that is to allow it to be collision resistant. So if you were gonna drop this down a flight of stairs or something, everything inside is gonna be protected because it's very, very tough. This is also waterproof, it's theft proof. It has a built-in audio system, which we're gonna talk about. It has the lighting effects that are up here on the screen. It has this cross strap design, which I gotta say right away, possibly the most comfortable backpack I've ever worn. You would think it wouldn't be with this giant thing on the back hanging off of your back, but this strap system and it's got lumbar support down here and it's really, really well padded, super comfortable. I was very impressed with that. You have a chest strap here with this really cool magnetic locking system that makes it easy to attach and detach the chest strap. Before we get into it and I show you all the little compartments and things like that, it can also stand up by itself. How cool is that? Um, <laughs> down here in this bottom zippered compartment, you have charging cables for USB type A, USB type C, and lightning adapter. So all of your USB type C Android devices and even the newer iPads and iPhones with USB type C, you could charge up those or charge up the older iPhone iPads that have lightning ports. Uh, the USB type A is for charging, charging the battery inside. The battery is a 5,000 milliamp battery. So it's great. You can use the battery, internal battery to charge your phones or tablets, but the battery also powers the audio system and the lights. 
Uh, the audio, they claim that playing music through the audio system via Bluetooth, you can get about six to eight hours of continuous playback. And it takes about two hours, I believe, around that to charge the battery inside. It's really cool, this little pouch that holds the charging cables. You could also just drop your phone in there while you're charging it, and it's nicely protected. The zippered compartment opens up from the inside here, the underside, so that's why it's anti-theft. While you're wearing the backpack, nobody can come stand behind you in a line and kind of go through your pockets. Inside, you actually have a lot of room, and you have a ton of pockets and zippered pouches, even a pocket here that would be great for a your phone or a wallet or even a passport. It's about the, the perfect size for a passport. You do have a nice padded compartment for a laptop or a tablet. And then you have this divider section here that actually can come out. It can unsnap from in here and be removed. Just like that, giving you more, even more space the actual backpack compartment is pretty roomy. Now, here's the first downside to this backpack. Uh, you can't expand the storage size at all. Since it's a hard shell, it's fixed. So, unlike some backpacks where it seems like you can just keep cramming items into the backpack and it just expands, you can't do that with this one. The other thing is that because of this weird polygon design here where it sticks out in the middle more than it does on the sides. It's kind of rounded. You can't really lay anything flat in here. Like you can't put a, a laptop or a tablet in here because you're gonna lose the space down below. It's gonna block off some of your space here. So this is really gonna be best used for soft items like clothing, things like that. Here's another slight downside to this backpack is you have these cables running up the sides of the inside of the backpack and they are a very nice braided cable. It's still just kind of in here. So you really need to be careful taking items in and out of the backpack. You don't want to snag onto one of these cables and rip it out. Inside the bag, you do have several large pockets and even this insert that was inside has a large pocket on it here, this, this mesh pocket. But you only have these two smaller pockets and the passport pocket here. Those are really the only small pockets. I would have liked to have seen some, some smaller pockets. One thing that's nice about this version of the backpack is that it can open up completely flat like this, which makes it TSA compliant in airports here in the US. You won't have to remove your laptop and tablet and all of that. You can just open it up, send it right through the scanner just like this. One other small annoyance is the zipper system. So you've got really strong uh, zippers. They even talk about how these are like extra durable zippers, which is great but the zipper goes around the outside of the shoulder strap here and then cuts to the inside of the shoulder strap down here. So if you're unzipping, you kind of get stuck down here and you have to move that out of the way to complete, to go all the way down. It's not a big deal. It's just one of those things, uh, just doing this by feel. I get caught all the time. Overall construction and design of the backpack, it's maybe not the most practical but you can't deny it's really cool <laughs> i mean it looks cool it looks sleek and stylish in fact this is in all the marketing material they really are touting this as being a very fashionable design kind of urban using this in the city riding your motorcycle or your bike obviously not us but still um <laughs> it is kind of a cool design. You have a little control pad here, buttons on the left strap, and these are the buttons that you use to control all of the smart functions. This is how you turn on the backpack, you connect via Bluetooth, turn the volume up and down, play and pause the music. You can even answer phone calls here and do hands-free phone calls through the Bluetooth. So before we talk about the audio, let's talk about the lighting effects. You have 
four different lighting modes. The first one is just off, no lights at all. The second one is music. The third one is sport mode. And the fourth one is night mode. So when music is turned on, the lights just flash in time with the music. It's kind of like a party. Then you've got the sport mode, which is very interesting. So they have an accelerometer built into the backpack and it can detect when you speed up or slow down. So the idea is that when you slow down suddenly, the lights will turn on. Uh, I think this is really designed for people who are riding on a motorcycle or riding on a bicycle. So probably not something I'm gonna be using ever, really, uh, but still kind of cool. Then there's the night mode. This is the one that really intrigued me. There's a light sensor built into the backpack, and so when the ambient light gets dark enough, the LED lights will turn on. Now, as I mentioned, up here in this upper section, you have dual speakers. So when you are wearing the backpack, these speakers are right behind your neck, right behind your head. And there's two of them, so the sound kind of wraps around you. And the sound is actually really good. I was really impressed with this. You know, when someone says, oh, we're putting speakers, Bluetooth speakers in a backpack, you're not really expecting much, right? But these were actually surprisingly good. In fact, this would be great to go camping, for example, or maybe even out to the beach, a backyard party, something like that. Sit around, listening to music, having a good time. All right, I've got it connected via Bluetooth to my Android here, and let's listen to the sound quality. Sounds pretty good. So that's not even full blast at all. <laughs> and it sounds pretty good. I don't know how it's gonna sound coming through the microphone and through YouTube and all that, but in person, it's actually really, really good. Now, of course, it doesn't just have to be music. Um, you can also use this for listening to audiobooks, which is something I was really interested in. So let's try that. But a piece of my mind told me. But the terror and pain, just a dream evoked, seemed no small thing. A lot of good bass. Yet, I couldn't escape it. So, that works fine. I did run into one of my audiobook apps. I don't know why, but it doesn't work well with the Bluetooth here. Around him and the two girls followed car on the passenger side, both fitting in the front seat. It skips. flipped to me and then back to the SDMP. The, the audio skips. It's like it can't maintain a connection. Uh, but it seems to be just this app that I'm using. Okay, guys, so that was the Tajizo, Tajizo PZ5 Smart Backpack. Uh, I believe this is still on the Kickstarter. It might have officially launched by now. I think the price was tentatively set at $300. So, like I said before, definitely not going to be for everyone. Uh, but if you are interested in this, I will have a link to the website down in the description. Definitely check it out. Yeah, that's about all I can say about it. All right, guys. As always, Sam with The Blind Life, I hope you enjoyed the video. You found it interesting anyway. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button. It helps out the channel. Make sure you're subscribed to The Blind Life. And if you need any help from me, let me know in the comments down below. I'll do my best to help out. That's it, guys. Sam with The Blind Life. I will see you next time.